Freeform natural gemstones are a popular choice when making jewelry because they offer their own unique shapes, patterns, and colors. A great way to display these gemstones is with beautiful custom prongs. In this project video, learn to create custom prongs to set your own one-of-a-kind natural gemstone. These pendants were created to display freeform stones. They feature a metal clay base with prongs that were embedded. The prongs offer a unique design element and hold the gemstone in place. Custom prongs allow you to design your entire pendant around your stone. Let's get started with the designing stage. When you pick the freeform stone you want to use, you'll need to design and lay out the pendant. Begin by tracing the outside of your stone. This will allow you to shape the pendant and place the prongs. Draw the shape you want your pendant to be. Since metal clay shrinks during the firing process, you'll need to make your template a little larger than the size you want it to come out. Figure out where you want your prongs. Sometimes, your stone will indicate just where your prongs should be with an indentation or a groove. Others, like this one, allow you to get a little creative with a variety of placements and shapes. To account for shrinkage, allow enough room between the base of your prongs and your gemstone. As it shrinks during firing, the base of your prongs will end up right next to the stone. Layout is crucial to make sure your pendant comes out just right. When you have your template, it's time to create the prongs. Begin by rounding the end of the wire with a file. This will make a nice clean prong tip. I like to use 16 gauge dead soft wire. This is soft enough to manipulate and design with but strong enough to lock my stone into place. Using your template, shape your prong with a pair of pliers. When you have your shape, cut your prong to length. To make sure your prongs lock into the clay, you'll need to create a small foot. Using a pair of chain nose pliers, flatten the ends and bend it to 90 degrees. Now when it's embedded, it will be strong and secure. Continue to do this for all of the prongs. After they're done, cut your template out, and it's time to roll your clay. The base layer for the pendant needs to be five cards thick. I'm going to add a texture, so I begin rolling out six cards, and I'll roll it down to five cards on my texture coated with cool slip. When you have your texture, place your paper template over your clay. Using an ultra clay pick, I cut out my pendant. After you have your shape, mark where you need to place the prongs with your pick. Remove your template and grab your prongs. Very carefully, embed your prongs in the wet clay. Be careful not to push your prongs all the way through your slab. The foot locks into place, and using syringe and a wet brush, you can make everything look seamless. 
Keep your prongs upright because you'll need to bend them into place after firing. When all your prongs are in, set it aside to dry. After your piece is dry, it looks a little odd, but it will come out beautiful. Carefully refine your bone dry clay. I'm using a smoothie sanding stick and some 3M polishing pads. On the back, if the prong pushed through, you can reinforce it with syringe. Add your desired bale, and after everything is perfect, fire your piece at 1650 for two hours. After firing, Add a patina and polish your piece. After that, it's time to set your stone. Place your stone inside your prongs. You'll notice the shrinkage brought the prongs right where you need them. Using flat nose pliers, carefully bend your prongs into place. Using my fingers and the handle of my brass brush, I push the prongs around the curve of my stone. After your stone is set, polish your piece again and add your chain. Using just a few pieces of wire, you can create a custom pendant with prongs that are embedded in clay to display all sorts of unbelievably beautiful freeform gemstones. Visit our learning center at www.cooltools.us for more cool jewelry making videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and be sure to sign up for our email list to be the first to hear about new videos products, contests, and other cool stuff from Cool Tools.